Hi, it's Corrine, and I am here today to talk to you about ink and digital papers. I had promised in an earlier video that I was going to try to keep track of how much ink that I use when printing out digital papers. I've used digital papers for a long time. I have a ton of them, but in the past I was intimidated to print out too many of them because of the worry of how much ink that it would use. So now I've come to realize that mine does not use a lot of ink. Of course, it's going to depend on the printer that you use, the type of ink that you use. So I can only speak from what I use, but I'd like to share that with you today. I'll have a link in the description box to the exact printer that I use. I'm not sure if that model is made anymore. It's a Canon printer. I did not spend a lot of money on it. it I bought it about two years ago and it was about $100. I think they have a similar uh, model to it. So again, I'll link the exact one that I use down in the description box. The ink that I use that it calls for, I get from Amazon. I get an extra large black and an extra large color, and this is $40 for this. It also comes with uh, photo paper as well. So I think it's a good deal. And I did keep track. Um, I know there's a few things that I'm missing on here, a few home things, but I just kind of want to go through it with you so you can get a better idea of how much ink that I go through because that's a question I get asked a lot. So I changed out the color cartridge two months ago, almost exactly it lasted me two months. Everything I print, unless it's something for my husband's work or something like that. Everything I print, I print in high resolution. That's a choice you don't have to make, but I notice that it makes a bit of a difference when you're making a mini album or something like that. So I just kind of want to go through my list and hopefully it gives you a better idea. If you follow me, you'll know some of these books that I'm talking about. Not that long ago, maybe two months ago, I made a baby boy album. I don't have it here to show you. In the after this portion of the video, I'm going to add photos of all the projects that I used during this time frame, during this two months that I used to print out um, digital papers from. So maybe that'll give you a better idea. And I didn't have pictures of absolutely everything. So there are going to be some things not included in those photos that I also printed out. So this baby boy album was a 24 page album. I printed out all the papers in high resolution. I actually, I screwed up on the size, so I had to reprint them all twice. So I actually, I had to redo all the tags and pockets twice on them. And again, that was a 24 page. I had tags in every single page. I had um, quite a bit of journaling mats, things like that. You can always go back on my videos and, and see what I'm talking about with that. I recently just did a jungle theme or safari theme album. I was able to get through half of that album before I changed out my ink cartridge. That had 12 pages. Every page had a pocket. A lot of papers from that. Um, stuff for my husband's work. Uh, there are service agreements that I had to print out, and there's like three pages on each. Some of them have color on them, so I had to print out 30 of those because I did 10 of them, and like I said, they have three pages. I also did a baby girl album that was eight by seven. It had 12 pages, so 24 total. So again, you're talking all the pages printed out, the front and back cover, the spine, every single journaling card, every single element, because I use Knitwit collections, they come with tons of journaling cards, labels, elements, all of those printed out in high resolution. I print out a ton of shipping labels throughout the last two months. I made a recipe book that I printed every single recipe and paper out from that. I did a little baby girl onesie album that had five pages, so 10 back to front, and that was seven by seven, had tons of elements in it, the little lions and giraffe and baby bottles, things like that. All of those were printed out. Again, more service agreements for my husband's um, company. I did a bear box in three different cards. Again, I'll have a photo on the end, but I printed all that from it. The Christmas album that I made, I made this Christmas album. I had to redo the front cover three times. So I printed all of this just to give you an idea. All of this has been printed out. Everything, every card that you see in here on every page. So I did all of that with the same ink cartridge. Um, I made a little birthday card with a bag that that was only, a, uh, I think about 
four sheets of paper, but still. I did seven of these journals, all printing the front and back covers, seven of them. I did a little milk carton caddy where I made six milk cartons. I decorated the outside of the box, added some uh, flower embellishments, things like that. And then I ended up making, I don't have them here and I don't have a photo, but they were full color cards, thank you cards, and I made 40 of them. And then I, I know for a fact I did a couple of school projects um, for my son, uh, for his college resumes, things like that, that I did not include on this. So this lasted me two months to the day, and I was able to do all of this with one cartridge. So I hope that sort of puts it into perspective of how much that is. That's three, four, four, four or five uh, mini albums right there on the one cartridge, plus all the other things. So the other question I get a lot that I thought I would quickly go over is what I use to print out. And this is my favorite. I get this Georgia Pacific. You can buy this online. I get it from Walmart. You can get it at Sam's. Sorry about the glare. It is the 110 pound. It's the bright, 92 bright. And it's cardstock. It's heavyweight cardstock. This is a smooth cardstock. I love it. It's a great price. It goes through my printer perfectly. And that's what I use to print everything out. Um, my mini albums, everything like that. So if you have any more questions, please leave me a comment. I hope this kind of puts it into perspective. And like I said, check out the description box. I'll also link you to Knitwit Collections and um, the printer that I use, like I mentioned previously. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.